Well, hi, welcome. Richard Petrie here, the founder of the Architects Marketing Academy. And I want to take you through a very short tutorial and think of the concept of the small hinges swing large doors. If you look at that great big huge doors, which would be incredible, no man could probably lift them or move them around, but yet these small hinges can control them and open them and shut them, just small hinges. And it's the same with your marketing. Little things can make a big difference. So, in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how a small improvement can double your profits in 2014 and give you a very, very cool tool. I'll show you where to get it at the end. So, of course, the purpose of marketing is to generate a profit. No trick there. And in the type of marketing I like doing with architects is category number one, where it's measurable and makes the phone ring. Okay, so just remember, you may think marketing is not overly systematic, but it can be. And this is also going to show you how to do that. So there's, I said there's three parts to, to being very successful in your business. One is being a great architect. That helps, and, and you're there. The other one is having great marketing and having a great mindset, having great psychology. Most people think the marketing side is a, is a big, what do I do other than get referrals? How do I do marketing? It's confusing, and it is until we simplify it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to show you how to make it really simplistic. And this guy here, Ed, W. Edwards Deming, founder of, you know, Constant, well, I don't know, he's the founder of Constant Improvement, but he very, the Kaizen principle, which he took to Japan and, and turned them into an industrial superpower. And it was all around constant improvement and breaking up your system into simple components, simple manageable components, and then just improving each little component all the time. Simple concept. And that's how, what we're going to apply. So how many components or hinges are there in marketing? Well, actually, there's only six. And those six things lead to your profit. So the six little hinges are the, you know, the number of prospects you get, your conversion rate of, you know, this is particularly for an architect, conversion rate of getting those prospects to a meeting, because if you don't have meetings, it's going to be difficult. Your conversion rate of getting those, those meeting prospects to become a client, how much you charge, your average fee, and the number of transactions you do over the year, and then your margin. So, you know, if you, if, if you earn $10,000 fee, how much of that do you get to keep? Your margin. That, these are all the small hinges or the components that make up your profit. These are the only things we actually need to focus on. If we can just improve all these six things just a little bit, you're going to be, you're going to be laughing, and I'm going to show you how. So, how many components there are in marketing? Well, I just told you. So, here they are. Here's, the, here's how the, the, these, those little components fit together. So, the number of leads times your conversion rate of getting those leads to a meet, conversion rate is, is, is going to equal your number of meetings. Okay, so these things fit together. Your leads times your conversion rate of getting those leads to a meeting is going to give you the number of meetings. Okay, the number of meetings you have times the conversion rate of getting them to a client is going to equal the number of clients. Pretty simple. Next one, the average fee you charge, which is flexible, isn't it? You could, you could put your prices up or down. The average fee times the number of clients you deal with over a year equals your turnover. Once again, nothing too complicated there. Your turnover times your margin, so you know how, how many costs, how much cost you have. If you got eighty percent margin or fifty percent margin, is going to equal your profit. So just the amount of sales, obviously, is not how much you get to keep. It's what you get. To, the profit is what you get to keep after you've taken off your expenses. Pretty simple. So add these things together. So it you know it's prospects times conversion rate is number of meetings you have. That's an important component. Meetings times conversion rate to clients, that's an important component. Your average fee times your transactions is your turnover, that's important. And then the turnover times your margin is your profit. Okay, so far so good, right? Now watch this. Okay, let's have a look at how these fit together. And as, as, as we saw, they all do fit together. Now I want to show you something. Let's say, let's take these. And this is my little uh, calculator spreadsheet to show you how easy it is. Well, easy. It's easy to, in theory, to double your profits. Let's say you get 40 inquiries per year. Now, now then I'm going to ask you, okay, how many of those inquiries that you get in over the year, and we could do this monthly as well, how many of them turn up to a meeting? And you might say, well, of all the inquiries, I get about, I don't know, 40% 40, 40 of them. Let's see. Great. Um, 
So that gives that gives that's going to give you 16 meetings. Okay, what's your conversion rate of um, meetings? H how many of those do you end up converting? And you might say, well, half of them, and it might be more, it might be less for you. Okay, well that's going to give you eight clients here. What's your average sale worth? What's your average fee? Okay, let's say it's ten thousand dollars. Great. And how many transactions do you do? Well, you might say I just do one. I'm an architect. It takes a long time and do one. Okay, great. So therefore, your average turnover is eighty thousand. What's your margin? You say, well, I work from home. My margin's pretty high. Um, I take off a bit for for my office space and my computer, but my margin's about ninety percent. Now, once again, it may be more or less. Okay, then based on these numbers, you're making $72,000. Not too shabby. Now, can we, by making small changes on the small hinges, can we double your profits? Well, let's have a wee look. Let's say uh, you joined the Architects Academy. <laughs> you may not have done that, but can we get your inquiries by, by adding some new marketing, by doing some educational marketing like I showed you in the videos or the webinars with Enoch and... And Eric, so let's say, can we improve your by 30%? Okay, so you're going from 40 to 52. Yeah, definitely, I mean, that's easy. We could, we could, you know, probably, if you, if you if you did what we did said in the webinar, you'd probably quadruple your, but let's just say you've improved it by 30%. What about your conversion rate by 10%? Let's just say 10% of those inquiries you get to a meeting. Um, let's say you improve your number of meetings, you just improve that by 10% to get them to become a client. So far, so good, okay? Um, your average sale, let's say because you use the 80-20 principle, like I showed you in the webinar, and you improve the type of client you're dealing with, and you put your fees up by 10%, just 10%. Say, I've, most of my clients put them up by 20 or 30 or 40, or some of them have tripled them. But let's just say 10%. And let's say you've got good at getting referrals. So instead of one transaction per client, let's say you're able to get a, um, a referral out of, um, you know, improve by 10%. Let's say you're getting none before. Great. And let's just keep your margin the same. Okay. So as you can see, just by getting our prospects from improving that by 30%, so now we're getting 52 prospects a year. So not much more, 40 to 52, not, nothing major. We're improving the conversion rate just by 0 0.04. We've only made a very small improvement there. Our conversion rate, once we get into a meeting to get them to a client, only a 10% only improvement, not, nothing major. Doable, doable with the stuff I showed you in the webinar. Um, just a small improvement in your fee from 10 to 11. Like, that's nothing major. Improve this by 10%. Not even improve your margin. Keep your margin the same. Right, we've increased your profit by 90% just doing that. Holy smoke. We didn't do much. Right? We've only got an extra 12 leads here. Okay, but I said I'll get you 100. So let's just play around with the numbers here. Like I say, I want to give you this, this spreadsheet, this tool, because I think when you play around with the numbers, you see it, you know, there's not a lot of things to focus on. You just focus on the small hinges, and you can do it. You can double your profits. So let's see, can we get, let's get this up by, let's just say 40%. I mean, you can get way more than 40% more leads than what you got last year. And there you go, 104% 104 improve or 100, almost 105% increase just by going from 40 inquiries to 56 and, and getting an extra 16 inquiries a year and, and making small improvements in the other areas is absolutely um that's simple, you know, just putting in place better referral systems. So there you go, that's how you can double your profit. So just those six little things, those small hinges can swing that large door. Those small hinges are those, you know, the, 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 the six components I showed you, and the large door is your profit. So you may think, how can I double my profit in 2014? Well, you do it by making small improvements to the hinges, those small things. So if you want that spreadsheet, because it's a very useful, useful spreadsheet, click on the button below and it'll take you through to the next page and you can just download the spreadsheet there. Does this make sense? Like, can you see marketing isn't that magical and, and, and it's not that complex and it's not that difficult? Um, so grab the spreadsheet, just play around with numbers, stick your numbers in, because the numbers I put in might not be meaningful to you. Put your numbers in and just work out, how can I double my profits or triple them? It's not that hard if you're using the right frame rate and you're using the right hinges. Hey, I've enjoyed putting this video together. 
I hope it helps you. If you use it and you do well, send me an email and let me know.